The Astera tubes, the most popular, versatile, and favorite light for almost every working cinematographer today. There are so many different uses for them, and I'm going to be telling you some of the most popular ways we use them. Use number one, plates and magnets. Sometimes there's just simply nowhere to rig your lights, and if you don't want to use a stand, sometimes your only option is lighting from the ceiling. But what if you're not in a studio with a grid where you can easily rig a light? Well, using some metal plates, some paper tape, and these clips, you can put a light pretty much anywhere without damaging paint on the wall as well. In this example, I use them to add some soft room ambient. In my four years of working in lighting, this has become my favorite way to light because of how convenient it is. Action one, and action two. Use number two, fluorescent bulbs. We often use these lights by replacing fluorescent bulbs with them and adding in astera tubes. That way we can have complete control over the color and output of them. In this scene, not only did it give me complete control over the color and output, but I was able to light the entire hallway for this shot. If you see a commercial or a movie and they're shooting in a grocery store or a convenience store, pay attention to the fluorescent fixtures because I guarantee they're also utilizing this technique. Use number three. Car rigging. Another great way I've seen them use is by rigging them to moving vehicles. Shooting car stuff can be difficult because it requires rigging and knowing how to do it safely. A lot of car shots today utilize astera tubes because you're able to do a chase effect and have them look like real street lights passing by. You don't even have to run a cable to these lights and figure out how to power them. Use number four, fake daylight. For a short film that I DP'd, we were shooting on the second floor, which meant I couldn't light from the ground level. I came across a solution on Instagram by Olon Collardy to black the windows from the inside and add some astera tubes, which sells the effect of daylight coming in and gives you consistency throughout the day. Use number five. Practical lights. You can also incorporate astera tubes as practical lights in your scene, but I recommend not having them blatantly in your shot because that trend is sort of dead. A more tasteful way of going about it is trying to pass it as a fluorescent bulb in your shot. For example, here I rigged one up to the back of the elevator and try to have it pass as a fluorescent bulb. This is only scratching the surface of what you can do with these lights, but I hope it gives you some idea of what you can do with them. I try to rent these lights on pretty much every shoot that I do because it's pretty much essential when shooting today. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.